Hi, ladies, and welcome to Empathic Sensitive Souls in the Workplace and basically in life. My name is Denise Ramson, and I'm the host and the creator of this group. And it's my hope that you, as a sensitive and an empath, get some tips and techniques to help you navigate through the stress that's occurring in your life, whether it's your personal life, home life, or work life. I hope everyone had an awesome weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. A girlfriend and I went to a local winery and we had a glass of wine and we sat outside in the shade and, and listened to the birds and the breeze and had just an awesome time. It helped relieve some of her stress, relieve some of my stress. Did we solve our problems? No, but it was nice to get out. So that's what I did for the weekend. I don't recommend drinking to solve your problems because drinking never solved any problem. And it also leads to depression. I know that. I learned that the hard way. And I now only drink on occasion. And if I do drink, it's very little. So with that being said, last month I spoke about cord cutting. Cutting the cord, the energy cord between you and your coworkers, or you and a spouse, you and a family member. I also spoke about cutting the puppet strings. People that are attached to you and expect you to act the way they want you to act. And I'm happy to report that today, being a Monday, was probably one of the best Mondays I have had in a very long time. It was totally awesome. I got one phone call for a half hour and maybe half a dozen snarky emails. And that is huge because normally I'm on the phone for three or four hours multiple times. And I get probably a dozen or more snarky emails. So it was a huge shift. It is working. I do my cord cutting at night before I go to sleep. Sometimes I remember it in the morning. And there's times where I do it periodically throughout the day when I'm feeling that extra anxiety and that stress coming at me from work. It's working. If it's worked for you, please post in the messages and let me know. Let me know what you've tried and, and what's occurred and if it worked and how well it worked. This month coming up, I'm talking about stress. Yes, stress. Stress, whether it's in your home life, your personal life, your work life. Everybody has stress. Stress is good for some things. But when it's overwhelming, when you're overwhelmed, and as an empath and a sensitive, those emotions from other people hit us harder and deeper, and we take it in so personally. And it's so hard to navigate through that. So if you're stressed out, you're feeling burnt out, you're exhausted, you have no energy, you're overwhelmed, you look at your laundry and you're like, there is no way. And you're frozen. You can't move forward. You can't get anything done. You can't do anything. Stress. And stress can kill you. It is nasty. It does horrible things to your body. This month, I'm going to be talking about stress throughout the month. I am also going to host a free one-hour workshop at towards the end of August, and I will post later and let you know when that's going to be. I'll send out emails, and I'll post a registration page, and please sign up for it. It's a free one-hour workshop, and we'll go through some of what the stressors are and what it can do to you and how you can combat it. If you have any questions or concerns or comments or complaints, anything, questions, let me know. Post, send me an instant message. If any of this rings a bell to you, like, oh, she, she knows it, I'm stressed out, I'm overwhelmed, I can't deal with this anymore, contact me. I can help you. Together, we can work through your stress. Let me know. Keep me posted. I will talk to you guys again. Have an awesome Monday evening.